नाइन्थ जुलाई 2021 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन मॉर्निंग मुरली ओम शांति बापदादा मधुपन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन ओनली दिवन फादर रिफॉर्म्स एवरीथिंग दैट हैज़ गॉन रॉन्ग फॉर यू दैट इज ओनली दिवन फादर क्रिएट्स योर फॉर्चून ही गिवस यू नॉलेज एंड मेक्स यू फॉर्चुनेट क्वेश्चन वॉट डिसिप्लिन दो यू चिल्ड्रन हैव एंड द स्परिचुअल फॉरनेस means bhakti answer those who sit in the spiritual furnace means bhakti that is those who are on the pilgrimage of remembrance should never allow their thoughts to wander here and there let only the one father be remembered if your thoughts wander here and there you continue to yearn and dulls off and the atmosphere is spoiled you then cause yourself a loss song neither should your heart support break nor should your fortune break after it has been created om shanti you sweet spiritual children heard two lines of the song your children are cautioned because the fortune of everyone except you brahmins is spoiled at this time everything that went wrong for you is now being put right the father is called the one who creates your fortune you know how sweet shri baba is the word baba is very sweet all souls receive an inheritance from the father in the world sons not daughters receive an inheritance from their father here everyone sons and daughters have a right to the inheritance the father teaches souls that is his children your souls understand that all of us are brothers thus is truly called a brotherhood all are children of the one god in that case why do they all fight and quarrel so much all of them continue to fight among themselves there are innumerable relations and innumerable directions the main thing is that there is always battling in the kingdom of ravan because of the existence of the vices there is so much fighting because of the vice of lust many kings have battle in this way they fight a lot because of lust they became so happy but when someone's heart becomes attached to another he may even kill for her lust is the greatest enemy those who have anger are said to be angry and those who have greed are said to be greedy but those who are lustful have been given many different names this is why it is asked why should we renounce nectar and drink poison nectar is mentioned in the scriptures it is written that nectar emerged when the ocean was churned and that lakshmi was given the urn there are so many stories the main thing is the notion of omnipresence who is the god of the gita who is the purifier these are the main things and the pictures that have to be explained in the exhibitions is it the ocean of knowledge and the rivers of knowledge that emerge from him the purifier or is it a river or an ocean of water so many good things are explained to you the father sits here and explains to you sweetest children who purifies you who reforms everything that has gone wrong the purifier when does that purifier come no one knows how this play is created the father it said to be the knowledgeful blissful and peaceful it is remembered that only the one puts right everything that has gone wrong you can understand that it truly is ravan who spoils everything for you this is a play about victory and defeat you know ravan who's fg the people of bharat burn every year he is the enemy of bharat it is in bharat that they burn him every year Ask them when did you start burning him? They would reply that 
it has continued eternally from when the world began whatever they have heard from the scriptures they believe to be the truth the main mistake is to say that god is omnipresent the father doesn't say that this is anyone's mistake but that is fixed in the drama this is a play about victory and defeat those who are defeated by maya are defeated by everything and those who conquer maya conquer everything it has been explained to you how you are defeated by maya ravan's kingdom continues for the full half cycle there cannot be the difference of even a second the establishment of ram's kingdom and the destruction of ravan's kingdom take place accurately at their own time there is no lanka in the golden age lanka is a land of the buddhist religion it is in the intellects of educated people where london is and where america is it is by studying that the locks on your intellects open and you receive light thus is called the third eye of knowledge the old mothers cannot understand many of these things they just have to imbibe one main thing and that will be useful at the end people study many scriptures but ultimately there is just one phrase left chant the name of ram they don't say to that person read the scriptures or the vedas at the end they just say remember ram whatever you think about over a long period of time is what you will remember at the end now that everyone is to be destroyed you know who everyone would remember some remember krishna and others remember their guru some first remember their bodily relations when you remember a body everything is finished here only one thing is explained to you and that is consider yourselves to be souls and continue to remember the father keep a chart of how much you remember the father the more you remember him the purer you will become It isn't that you will become pure by bathing in the Ganges. It is a matter of the soul because it is the soul that has become impure and the soul that has to become pure. The father has explained that a soul is a star, a point that resides in the center of the forehead. They say that the soul, the star, is extremely subtle. only you children can understand these things the father says i come at the confluence age of the cycle they have removed the word cycle and said that i come in every age and this is why people have understood it wrongly i said i come at the confluence age of the cycle at the confluence of extreme light and extreme darkness There is no need to come in every age because you continue to come down the ladder. The father comes when you have come right down the ladder of 84 births. This knowledge is for the whole world. Sanyasis say that all of our pictures are just imagination. However, there is no question of imagination in this. It is explained to everyone. Otherwise, how would people know? This is why the pictures have been created. There will continue to be many exhibitions in many countries. The father says there are many children who are residents of Bharat. All are children. This is the tree of many religions. The father sits here and explains everyone has been sitting on the pyre of lust and became burnt. those who come at the beginning of the golden age are the first ones to get burnt by the fire of lust from the copper age copper age onwards and this is why they have become ugly everyone is now to receive salvation you became instruments everyone will receive salvation because of you the father explains so easily he said simply remember the father It is souls that have reached degradation. When souls become impure, they receive impure bodies. The Father shows you a very easy way to purify souls. 
people cause a lot of upheaval when they see Brahma in the picture of the Trimurti. Why do you call him Brahma? Brahma is a deity of the subtle region, so how can we exist here? Thus, Dada was very famous. It was printed in the papers everywhere. A dweller says that he is Sri Krishna and that he won 16,108 queens. There was a lot of upheaval created because he was accused of abducting women who would beat their heads with each person. There are so many people. When someone is to come here to Abu, he is quickly asked, Oh, you are going to the BKs, but they cast magic spells and make husband and wife and brother and sister. They tell such tall stories and spoil your heads. The father says, You call me the ocean of knowledge, the world almighty authority. World almighty authority means the one with all powers. He is the one who knows all the Vedas and scriptures. Even great soldiers are called authorities. Why? Because they study all the Vedas and scriptures. Then they go to Banaras and earn a title. They earn titles such as Maha Mahopadhyay, Shri Shri 108 Saraswati there. Those who are very clever receive higher titles. It is written of Janak and the scriptures. He said he wanted to hear the true knowledge of Brahma from the knowledgeable person. There is no one who has the knowledge of the Brahma element. All of those things referred to this time. They have made up tall stories. They have also written a story about Shankar and Parvati. So many stories have been written. They say that Shankar told a story to Parvati. In fact, it was Shiv, but they have mentioned the name of Shankar and Parvati. All the things of this time are written in the Bhagavad, etc. Then they show stories of how Ashtavakya, when someone who had eight deformities, had a thought to go and give this knowledge to a king. The father explains, you too must go and give this knowledge to the kings. Tell them, you belong to the Sun dynasty and you then became part of the Moon dynasty, then the Merchant dynasty and then the Shudra dynasty. Your kingdom is now completely finished. If you want to claim a Sun dynasty kingdom again, make effort Baba, who teaches Raj Yoga, has come. Come and claim the unlimited sovereignty once again. The kings are sent so many letters, but they don't receive them. They are opened by their private secretaries. So many letters are just thrown away. If a letter had something important in it, they give that to the king. It is said that Ashtavakra gave King Janak a vision of liberation and life in a just second. That refers to this time. The father now sits here and explains to you so well. Those who are not going to understand will continue to look around here and there. Baba quickly understands when nothing is sitting in someone's intellect. Baba looks all around to see whether everyone is listening to him. Well, or whether someone's intellect is wandering elsewhere. Some continue to yawn. When knowledge doesn't sit in their intellects, they continue to doze off and they incur a loss. There was a bhatti of these children in Karachi. Those who were about to doze off were immediately sent out. Only all of us used to sit there. No one from outside came there. This was a big part of the beginning. There is a long history. In the beginning, daughters used to go into trance a lot. Even now, people still say that there is magic here. They call the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, the Magician. Shri Baba can give when someone has a lot of love. So, as soon as he looks at her, she would go into trance. The people of Bharat have a lot of love for Vakunt. 
when Samvan dies, they say that he has become a resident of Vakund, a resident of heaven. This is now hell. All are residents of hell. This is why they say that so and so has become a resident of heaven. However, no one goes to heaven. Only you now have this knowledge. You were residents of heaven and whilst taking 84 births, you have become residents of hell. Baba is now making you into residents of heaven once again. There is a kingdom in heaven. There are different levels of status in the kingdom. Make effort to change from an ordinary man into Narayan. You know that Mama and Baba became Lakshmi and Narayan in the future. You are now making effort and this is why you are told to follow the mother and father. You also make effort just as they are making effort. They also stay in remembrance and become spinners of the discourse of self-realization. Remember the father and your inheritance. Became knowers of the three aspects of time. You have the knowledge of the whole cycle. Remain away of it and continue to explain to others. When you remain busy in the service, you won't remember any other business etc. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdara. The spiritual father says, Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says, Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dharna, first point. In order to claim a high status in the golden age, follow the mother and father truly. Make effort in the same way. Remain busy doing service. Study with concentration. Second point. Keep a true chart of remembrance. Consider yourselves to be soul and remember the father. Don't remember your body or bodily beings. Blessing. May you be combined with the power of Shiv and always have the awareness of the companion and experience the stage of a detached observer. Explanation Just as a soul has the company of the body and while that soul has a part on this earth, no one can separate them. In the same way, Shiv and a Shakti have such a deep relationship. Maya cannot cause any obstruction to the deep love of those who constantly move along as embodiments of the power of Shiv. They constantly experience companionship and the stage of a detached observer. They experience having someone with them in a corporeal form. Slogan In order to be free from obstacles, and experience a constant and stable stage, practice concentration. Om Shanti 